Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on using LiveSend 360 in Terragen Sky to export skies to Blender. LiveSend is a feature that's new in Terragen Sky that will allow us to export the 360 sky panorama in near real time as it renders to use as an HDR. This is handy because it gives the opportunity to fine tune the lighting and move the sun and clouds to just the right place before committing to a final render, which is useful in an exploratory or previous scenario. I'm going to demonstrate using this simple scene with a couple of objects imported from Sketchfab, a roadway and a car. And we're going to add a nice sunset on the horizon here. For this to work smoothly, we're going to need to add a plugin called Auto Reload to Blender. I've included the link to the plugin in the description. This plugin will let Blender re-import the HDRI image as soon as Terrigen Sky makes an update. To install the plugin, First, download the zip file from the releases here. And then in Blender, come to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then click Install. Select the zip file to install the plugin. And then make sure to check the box to enable it. You should now see a menu for the Auto Reload plugin up here in the top right. Now that we have the tools we need, let's go ahead and open up Terrigen Sky. We'll start off with one of the presets, and make sure to set the preview mode to 360, which will preview the entire 360 panorama at the same rate. Now head over to the Export tab, where we'll click Set Output File under Live Send 360. Let's save this as an EXR, and click Send Now. This will export a snapshot of the current preview of the 360 sky as an EXR. Now let's move over to Blender. To add the HDRI image as our sky background in Blender, come to the World tab on the right side and select Environment Texture. Now we can select our exported EXR from Terrigen. Make sure to press Z and set the viewport to rendered. Great, there's our preview and we can already see it reflecting off of our car. Now for updates. Come up to the Auto Reload plugin we added earlier and check the timer box. This will tell Blender to re-import our HDRI image every few seconds. So if we return to Terrigen Sky and click the Send button again, Blender will pull in the refreshed preview. A couple of small quirks I found with this method are that Blender won't update the sky image in the viewport until you click or interact with the scene, and that the lighting on objects sometimes doesn't refresh until you select an object in the object list. But once we've done that, here's our sky preview. Now for example, if we decide the sun isn't in quite the right spot, we can come back over to sky, move it, export the preview, and then check it in Blender. That looks more like what I had in mind. Another application might be a previs scenario, where a director or artist wants to rapidly explore a variety of different skies and lightings for a scene. Once we like what we're seeing, we can render out the full resolution skybox in Terrigen, and then import it as an environment image, just like we did for the preview. So there's a quick overview of going from Terrigen Sky to Blender with LiveSend 360. I'm interested to see what people will do with this new ability.